Hi everyone, JK here. This is weekend and we're going outside with Noah. It's been raining for about two to three days straight. So Noah couldn't go outside. And I'm gonna show you some of the sceneries in this town, even though it's a bit like cloudy. I wish it was a little bit more sunny so that it looks better. Oh. Ego boya? Ego ire moya? No. Acton? Acton, hema. Acton. 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 Hmm, acton. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Acton, acton. Noah loves car and that type of car is tractor in Swedish which means just literally tractor. Emily and Emily's mom taught him tractor and since he cannot pronounce it tract he starts to just say akton so when you say akton it means tractor and he has many 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 car toys and that's, the, that's his favorite. Just like me when I was a kid I loved like this small uh, car toys that looks exactly like the same car and my mom used to uh, buy that almost every day for me because I love to collect it and I loved it. The air is so fresh here. I feel like I'm in, a, in the mountain. It's that clean and it's right after the raining. When I was in Korea, I lived in Seoul and Uyjeongbu. Uyjeongbu is a little bit to the to the north from Seoul and both the cities are very crowded busy and mostly just gray city and it's full of people in cars so the air was a little bit polluted look at this this is beautiful it's only five minutes away from where I live Yeah, like this, just imagine all the airs coming from this, all that greens. And this is amazing. And I've always uh, longing for this kind of environment since when I was a kid. Like, you know, you, when you watch movie or animation, there's this guy standing in a, a prairie, right, reaching to the horizon, and then it says this, there's only this guy and standing in there. It's full of greens and breeze. And basically this is that kind of place here is a little bit there's a little bit trail that people can get in but I'm not sure if I can actually go with Noah oh, here's a little bit of a, a small harbor if I if I can say I mean that is crazy look at this this looks very very um, unstable but the view is crazy it's crazy look at this the water is so calm. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't dare to go mm. there because it might collapse and I fall into the wall, mm. water. So uh, this is one of the uh, a way that, that I can access to water. Mm. And there are many places that I can go. But this was one of it. I've never been here before. But this is crazy. This is just crazy. I'm just look at this. Look at this pure nature. Look at this. I have never seen such thing in Korea at all. This is crazy. But at the same time, this is amazing. Just wow. I do wonder what more there are outside of this city. We have a lot of time ahead, Noah. When you grow up a little bit more, then we will definitely travel more and uh, yeah, we'll travel more and explore more nature. If you like nature, like your dad, we'll do that. Just grow up fast, please. Yeah, Noah is being a little whiny, so I'm just gonna put him down here and let him walk around. We'll see how it goes. I'm worried that. There's so many plants 
a tall plant, so I'm not sure if it's safe to walk around, you know, the ticks and fleas, lice, but we will see. Yep, he's holding my hand, and we are walking very safely and calmly. He's a good boy. That's good, sir. No, 안녕, Eva. 이제 안녕 정도는 할수 있어야 되지 않겠니? It takes a longer time for him to learn a new word and to understand some of the words. So it will take some time. Normally they, they say it takes at least two years for those babies who live in a bilingual or more, more than bilingual uh, family uh, to learn a new, like a, to understand the concept of language. Mm. Yeah, he's having fun. Yeah, he likes to go outside. I think he's like my brother. <laughs> he's not a like indoor person at all, definitely. Or maybe it's just common, or it's just normal for all babies. Yep, he found something very fun. Uh, brong, brong. Brong, brong, brong. Brong, brong, when I bring Noah outside, I'm more like accepting. Like I'm more like open, open and, and just let him do whatever he wants. As long as it's not dangerous. Like for me, when Noah puts some, a little bit of pebbles or stones in, into his mouth, it's okay. For me, I think, it, I feel like it's 100% it's okay. Kids can do that. As long as Noah doesn't swallow it or put it all the way inside his mouth. I just let him do it. He can just put a little bit of, I can just taste it, he can leak it or whatever. I don't care, they can do it. He can do it and he can walk on the grass or he can mm, climb up some, somewhere a little, a little bit higher. I let him do it, it's okay. I think that way kids can learn more and can explore the world better. And I think that makes my baby happier. We are walking in this forest. It looks 100% pure nature. <laughs> but it's only five minutes away from home. Hendra? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Um, oh, there are so many mosquitoes. I need to leave here. Jesus. Jesus, there are so many mosquitoes here, especially in the north of Sweden. Yeah, I got bitten and I saw that a mosquito was flying around Noah's head, so I was freaked out. And I don't know why there's so many mosquitoes and there's no dragonflies. If there is a, if there are dragonflies here, they catch like hundreds of mosquitoes so that would help but they don't have it maybe i should smuggle some of it yeah in the future i'm going to smuggle uh some of the korean dragonflies into this country and then these three whole the ecosystem in sweden in playground there's so many free just lying around toys on the ground so basically you don't need to buy any toys to play outside 
Actually, they are just the toys that he's around here, just left behind. Brum brum. No, brum brum, yeah, brum brum. Brum brum brum. Long time. Salong sa brum brum.